A wire shark log. I need a wire shark log so I can troubleshoot the problem. Well, on my laptop, I can uh, Google Wireshark and I find this Wireshark.org and they have a shark fest. That sounds cool. But we're going to download Wireshark. I got a 32 bit laptop, so I'm going to install this one. And uh, then we can run the Wireshark software and see what's going on. So after you install it, you'll have to reboot your laptop again and run the software. But I've got a local area network 4 doing nothing, some wireless stuff, some Bluetooth. So I have a local area network connection here that's giving me a little data. 3 is not and 4 is not. So I think I, think I might be connected to 3. This might be the corporate network. So what I have here today is a Xenus Compact with EtherCat or Ethernet. When I power it up, I get the red light, no indicators for communication over the Ethernet. Uh, what I have here is a StarTech USB to Ethernet adapter. I don't know how good that is for motion control, but it's good for gathering data. So I'm going to plug it in. I got a green right light that's flickering a little bit, but there's not a lot of data going, and I don't have a, a red indicator yet that says the master's gone away. I don't, I don't even have an EtherCAT master. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run the CME2 software, and we'll take a look at that. Um, but I'm going to monitor this Ethernet connection here. There's a little bit of data going across, not much. Hopefully when I run CME2, we'll gather a lot of data. So now I'm going to go back and run my CME2 software connected over that Ethernet port. So CME2 runs, tools, communication wizard, Ethernet. Uh, that's my network one. Here's my USB adapter. Let's go with that gather some data. So right now CME2 is communicating with the drive over the Ethernet port and it sends serial binary packets wrapped up in the Ethernet message. For example, send get desired state and it returns back with the desired state. These are serial binary messages sent out over the Ethernet. So the Wireshark should be gathering data for me. Here we go. This looks more like uh, normal CME2 data, length 8. So I've been gathering the data from the time when I first connected and then when I started running the software. So I get the full view of what happened you know, before the beginning of time, at the beginning of time, and while it's been running. So if there was a problem, it would be in the log from the beginning of time. And it would show how things are configured it would show, you know, events that occurred just before, during, and after a problem. So I want to save a Wireshark log, so I'll stop gathering the packets. And I'll save this capture file. So right into my documents. See me to EtherCAT log, save. Yep, I can replace it. This is the second time I've done that. So now I've gathered a Wireshark log for the, for the engineer who's always asking me for a Wireshark log so I can show him that there is a problem and he can analyze it. So this file you can uh, email to me and I'll see if we can decode it and isolate what's happening. Now let's suppose we don't have a PC with an EtherCAT master or talking Ethernet, but we have some third-party controller that's sending out Ethernet messages, and it's not a PC, so we can't run Wireshark on it. Well, we've got a little device here 
that's just a, a tap uh, so I can tap off with my laptop and make a Wireshark log. So this cable goes back to the EtherCAT controller somewhere that's sending messages directly to the drive through the Ethernet. We see the, the communications going and we're going to hook up the StarTech adapter to the taps. So we just plug these guys in here and this will gather the, the Wireshark information to tap off the communication. So we run the Wireshark So again, we'll take a look at the uh, the network connection that's connected to the adapter. And we'll make sure we've got uh, communication going. Yeah, there it is. So that's the basic idea there. The Wireshark looks at the StarTech to gather data on the laptop while the EtherCAT master collects data. And then we, of course, can uh, stop the recording and save the data and transmit it over. Um, there's a little bit more going on on this adapter than I'd like to see. The corporate software is interfering with my ability to do EtherCAT, but that's okay. We can see how to use this adapter to connect to some other third-party controller and just tap off. Uh, the tap circuit looks like this. P1 is coming in, P2 is going out, or vice versa. It's a straight pass-through. And then the tap is on the transmit or receive data packets and both of these connect to the to the StarTech so we can use Wireshark on the laptop to capture the data that's going across on the network. Well, I think I hope this helps and thanks for your time.